Good morning, Lutworth College. Welcome back. I hope you had a fantastic break. Now then, this week's thought for the week is from a guy called Aristotle. You may have heard of him. Um, his writings were quite incredible and his uh, subjects were things like physics, biology, zoology, metaphysics, logic, philosophy, linguistics. He was quite a guy. He's also very dead. He's from a long, long time ago. He lived in the 4th century BC, so like two, nearly two and a half thousand years ago. But he was so incredible, his writings and his works are still known today. So that is quite astonishing. And he says this, You will never do anything in this world without courage. And that is a fantastic thing to say. You will never do anything in this world without courage. Okay then, our motto is dare to be wise. So it's on the same thread. We know about this. We need courage in life with everything really that we do. Now then, I often look on life as a race and lots of people call it a race as a human race, but that's slightly different. But it's a race and we're all on the line all together. And it's a little bit like infant school kids. You see them all on the line and they're all looking pretty fired up. And then uh, somebody will say, go, and they all start going. And um, some of them can't really be that bothered, so they don't really get very far. Some are jogging along, but again, they're not that bothered. Others are really going for it, and they do go a long way. Some are gurning uh, like mad and really, really pushing it, and they do uh, get a long way. And of course, there has to be a winner. And in life, there is winners. And sometimes you may uh, hear, well, they had a good start in life. And it's true, some, some do have a good start in life and, and manage to uh, achieve amazing things. It's people like Winston Churchill, who was born in Blenheim Palace, you know. Um, he he um, was um, a very rich and powerful guy. And he... Um, he just went through life and it seemed to go well for him. It didn't all go well for him, but he was a powerful guy. Good start. Then there's people like Richard III. Well, that went a bit belly up, didn't it? But then there's Richard Branson. He started off quite as quite a normal sort of situation. Um, he had things against him. He, he struggled with dys dyslexia. Um, and yet yeah, he's a billionaire now. But it's not just about making it as a human being like that. It really is about flourishing and being successful as a human being. And that can be in every area of our lives, in family life. And this may be getting a good partner and staying with them and you go through thick and thin and that takes courage and that's true, it's a reality. I've been with the current Mrs. Thomas now for 31 years and has taken a lot of courage on her behalf. But it, family life itself takes courage and perseverance. And with our friendships, it's the same. But as you go for your results and go for job interviews and are working hard, it takes courage going through life and building yourself up and, and climbing ladders, what, whatever. You know, it, it, it does take courage. And um, what we really want in flourishing and succeeding is that whatever you put your hand to, you're successful at. Wouldn't that be amazing going through life like that? Well, the reality is life chucks hurdles and all sorts of things at us. And it's not a negative thing to say. It's just a bit of reality. That's why we need courage, because life can get tough at times. There's quite a strong thread talking about courage which goes through the Bible. And God says to his people, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. He says that when he's sending his people out on a mission. you know, And that is really quite powerful, that is. And Jesus says, why do you worry about your daily bread? your clothes or your health. Everybody is running after these things. But you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given unto you as well. 
Life does present us with these mountains to climb. And uh, it, it can be really quite tricky at times. But take courage, my friends, because those who persevere achieve astonishing things. They really do. So our thought for the week, and a, a quite a strong message of faith and courage, is you will never do anything in this world without courage. God bless you. Have a fantastic week.